for entrepreneurs starting a new brand, um, if they haven't got much funding, they don't have investment, what advice would you give to them? Find some funding, yeah. really, because um, the whole process is going to take twice as long as you think and cost you twice as much money as you think. So uh, I kind of knew that from my marketing background and I allowed twice as much as I thought I would need. As a budget, I allowed for two full years without an income. So, and it took three. Okay. So, so you know, yeah. even though I was cautious, it, 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 uh, it took longer than I anticipated. So it, for anybody starting out really is um, try and find somebody to work with, preferably somebody with, with deep pockets or with access to borrowing. And uh, do your research so when you hit the ground, you, 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 you're running or at least walking and moving forward. Uh, don't resign your day job until you've got those elements nailed down yeah. and, uh, and then never give up. That was the, the sort of an element I was going to touch on was, do you think when you're, you are starting your brand or any idea, any business that you have, um, it should always be as a sideline or do you think you just go 100% in? It depends on your circumstances, depends on the market niche that you think you've found. Uh, that there is no one size fits all uh, because sometimes it's incredibly important for entrepreneurs to, to act on their impulse and to go for it, to seize a gap that they've seen in the market. But for me as a, as a product developer, uh, where things do take longer than you anticipate, I would say try to retain an income stream for as long as you possibly, a reliable source of income for as long as you possibly can. And again, you know, if, if you're doing it from your back bedroom, then your overheads are low. Whereas if you've got a wife and kids to support, then it's, you know, that, that's where caution becomes a bigger factor. Yeah, that's, yeah, of course. Um, and I suppose with, you know, with there's so many online um uh, e com sites now where you can just yeah. set up a quick website. It, it's not like before where you'd have to go in, you'd have to do the code, you'd have to get a web developer in. I think now access is it's a lot more open to uh, you yeah. know a, a new business idea. So um, it's much easier to, to to do it as a side hustle almost until until it has legs, until it's off the ground. Yeah, I would say that the market has changed, infrastructure's changed, so it is easier for anybody to start. And don't be afraid to change it would be another key piece of advice. You know, make your mistakes quickly and, uh, and stop them as quickly as you can.